Liberal MP Julian Lisa has resigned from the party's front bench and the Indigenous Australians' portfolio so he can campaign to support the voice to parliament. Senior government figures say they expect more coalition MPs to jump ship. The outgoing Shadow Minister for Indigenous Australians makes a bold manoeuvre to sway coalition voters on The Voice. I believe the time for The Voice has come. His grim assessment of its likely success... I don't think the referendum is tracking to success with support in the mid-50s. And a Liberal Party room overwhelmingly in the no camp, driving his decision to step down from the front bench. I resign without rancour or bitterness, and I remain a loyal Liberal fully committed to the leadership of Peter Dutton. To fight for his model of a constitutionally enshrined voice which pairs back the language Labor is pursuing. An all-or-nothing approach could deliver nothing. That's why we must find common ground. Acknowledging that whatever the outcome, he will be campaigning with the Yes camp. A choice accepted by the opposition leader who wouldn't say whether others among his front bench will do the same. I think it's an important point to make that Julian's position in this is pretty unique. And embraced by members of the referendum working group. I think it indicates that he understands that um, to be on the right side of history. The government weaponising the string of Liberals taking a stand in support of the referendum. And I suspect these Liberals will not be the last to break from Mr Dutton's partisan narrow position. I think in light of uh, uh, Julian's announcement today, it's proper that uh, people, including the Prime Minister, uh, should uh, apologise to Julian Lisa. Mr Lisa arguing divisive politics will lead to failure. No great nation has ever been built by dividing it. I believe that the government must seriously engage with coalition voters and it hasn't done so to date. And this failure could ultimately put the referendum at risk. Peter Dutton says that he'll consider he'll take Mr Lisa's place on the front bench over the next few days. Joel Philb, Sky News, Canberra.